chief foreign editor, Robert Parsons. Rob is in Kramatorsk. Uh, we're one of the possible worst, I think, uh, atrocities. Well, I don't just think. It's something that uh, the international authorities think. One of the worst cases uh, that was committed took place. Uh, Rob, I hope you can hear us. I'm obviously talking about what happened uh, at the railway station back in April. Yeah, I, mean, I, I was in Ukraine at the time, Mark, not, not this part of the Ukraine. I was on, right on the, the other, far other side in the western yeah. Ukraine uh, city of Lviv uh, when the news came through. Actually, we were uh, expecting a train to come through with, with uh, in, internally displaced people. And we were at the station in Lviv waiting for that train when the news started to come through uh, that the station in Kramatorsk had been attacked and that so many people had died. And, you know, one of the most horrific incidents in this war, and certainly at that time the most horrific incident. Uh, gradually after that, people started to trickle through uh, on trains that came after, and so we started to get the whole story. Uh, but it was truly awful. 60 people are killed. I think that's probably a very, very conservative estimate, Rob. Yeah, I think it probably is a conservative estimate. There were just hundreds of people gathered uh, both inside the station and outside the station uh, when the, the artillery sh shells started coming in, uh, and they had no chance whatsoever. They were just the, the shrapnel from the, the, the shells coming in to the area in front of the station. I've passed it several times uh, over the course of the last 24 hours. Uh, it was just uh, awful. No chance of escape at all. They were just shredded by, by shrapnel in many cases, uh, and died on the spot. You know, the first aid workers tried to do what they could, but it was a bloodbath. Rob, thank you very much indeed.